and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you. The good people of Hope you're feeling grand and all is well in your world. Hello there, everybody. Uh, today's vid, everybody, is like a follow on uh, vid, if you will, from uh, ANQ Wednesday last week. Um, question four of ANQ Wednesday last week was What's the main strengths of a Fender Jaguar in comparison to a Fender Strat? So I thought I'd dive into that a bit more today uh, because simply the Jaguar is my second favourite guitar ever in the world. And I think if you play a Stratocaster, this is this is only my opinion. It, so it doesn't really mean anything. But I always feel like if you, if you love Stratocasters, you'll love Jaguars. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't feel the same way about Jazzmasters or, or Telecasters for that matter, actually, either. I, I think if you're a Strat guy, uh, switching to a Jaguar is, is not a bit as big a reach as... Going to like a Jazzmaster or a Telecaster or, or like a Les Paul or an SG. I feel they're very close, close knit, but not all at the same time. Because, you know, the, the, the body shapes are different. Uh, I've only got two pickups on the Jag in comparison to the three on the Strat. Uh, you've got different switching on the Jag in comparison to the Strat thing. Uh, you know what I mean? And, and also, like, you know, you've got the different tremolo unit, everything's top mounted, whereas on the Stratocaster, you've obviously got the tremolo block into the, you know, into the tremolo cavity and that. So all these do make a difference. So what's the pros and the cons between the two? I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, the thing is, it totally, it, it is dependent on what you kind of want, really. But what I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to do a little mini kind of like comparison between the sounds of these guitars. To so you hear them because the way I see it, and this is this is from playing playing Jaguars and, and, and playing having played quite a few Jaguars. Um, Jags don't have a great deal of sustain. They they, they kind of they kind of um, I don't want to say dead because they're not dead. They're extremely alive unless you get a bad one and then it's dead. But um, but they're real live guitars, but they have a different kind of sustain. Diff and because of that, and because everything's top mounted, and because of the way everything sits on the guitar, it sounds different. Whereas the strap is a lot stringier, it's, it's more vibrant and bright and glassy. And um, hopefully that'll come across in a comparison. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do a comparison between the uh, bridge pickup on the Jag, bridge pickup on the Strat, both pickups on the Jag, middle pickup on the Strat, and then neck pick up on the Jag and the neck pick up on the Strat. And then you'll, you know, you can kind of hear the difference. Um, this is a Squire. This isn't a Fender. This is a Squire Vintage Modified. But I'd be happy any day to put this up against any Fender Jaguar. Because this one is just fantastic. It really is. It's just glorious. And I love it so much. And it's just beastly. So, um... So yeah, so that's what we're going to do comparison-wise. Uh, then I want to talk after that about kind of the ergonomics of the guitar because that's where the main differences are in this thing. So let's talk about sound. Let's get the sound thing in and out of the way first because that's kind of like key. But I do feel that like if you are a Stratocaster player and a lover of Strats, then you'll love the Jaguar. I don't feel there's a great deal of uh, jump between them considering the Jaguar is a shorter scale. Uh, from the nut to the bridge, that's a short scale. The neck is smaller, so the frets are closer together than the strap. Um, you know, and you've also, you know, it's a different layout, and also the body's bigger. It's heavier guitar, but there's just something about going from the strap to the jag where you don't really have to um, alter your playing. I like, I've always felt like, like just now when I did the intro jam, I wanted to switch from the jag to the Strat, and as soon as I did the switch, it was almost like I hadn't changed guitar. Obviously, the Strat is lighter, and you can feel the weight is different, and obviously the neck profile is different, but the overall feel of the instrument, if you will, is totally the same. Uh, and I've always felt that with Jaguars. I've always felt, and I've said this a few times in videos, some people said, if you couldn't play Strats, what would you play? Jaguars. Uh, no ifs, no buts. You know, it's it, it's they are literally next. If, if somebody came in and took all my Stratocasters away and said you can't play these anymore, you're only allowed one style of guitar to play after this. You know, and it's not going to be Strats. You know, what's it going to be? Jags. They are just that. They're just stunning guitars. Uh, I really, really love the Jaguar. I love the way it looks. Uh, the white, white, white Jaguar with the. Um, 
Tour shell scratch plate, matching headstock, mm. dream Jaguar, and luckily, hi, he's here. So, um, so yeah, so sound-wise, they do sound different. Uh, so we'll get to the sound comparison first, and then we'll 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 start talking about kind of layout and things. That's where that's where the Jaguar doesn't fall, but can come a bit kind of like fiddly widdly. So we'll talk about that in a minute. But in a minute, but first, let's do a little sound comparison. So. Um, so yeah, we'll start with the Jag uh, on the bridge pickup and then go to the Strat. So it'll be Jag, Strat, Jag, Strat, Jag, Strat, Jag, Strat. That sounds like a guitar. I know there's Kirk Cobain's Jag Stang, but Jag Strat... I think there is a Jag Strat, isn't there? Oh, no, it was, a, it was a Jazz Master. Oh, no, there is one, isn't there? Didn't Fender do a Parallel Universe thing? My tea's gone cold. That's depressing. Um, yes, they did, didn't they? They did a Strat, a, a, a Jag Strat. Yes, of course they did, because that's where I got it. That's where the mental image came to mind when I said it. Anyway, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Bow down at my idiocy. You're yeah, right, give over. Anyway, comparison time. So let's do it. Uh, Jack first. Okay, everybody, there we go. There's a comparison. I don't want to try and... <laughs> I'm going to go now and just boil my face in chip fat oil because I'm an idiot. Anyway. Okay, so, um, yeah, there's a comparison between the Jag and the Strat. There's not a million miles between the sound. I just don't feel there is. Uh, I love the sound of both pickups on the Jag. Um... In all fairness, I think I prefer the sound of both these pickups on, on the Jag to the middle pickup on the Strat. Because as much as I love the middle pickup on a Strat, I don't really use it a great deal. Whereas when I'm on a Jag, that setting, I really enjoy that. It's the, it's the John Fashanti murderer's tone. Um, you know, it's, it's a Jaguar with both pickups on. And it's it sounds like the high-pass filter's in, but I'll talk about that a bit more in a minute. So, um... I don't think there's a million miles between the sounds, you know what I mean? They they, they, they both sound very similar-ish, ish. you know what I mean? No guitar sounds the same, you know, even if it was another Stratocaster I was putting it against, it still wouldn't sound the same. But they do have some of the same kind of characteristics. And um, one thing I, I want to talk about is confidence, quickly, of, of, of how a guitar makes you feel confident when you play it. 
uh, when you're playing a guitar, you want to feel 100% confident that you know what you can do and what you can't do and where it can go, where you can go with it and where you can't go with it. This gives you more um, freedom on the instrument because you know what your limits are. So, so for instance, I know I'm not limited at all with a Stratocaster. I can pretty much do anything I want with a Stratocaster, no ifs, no buts, um, and I'm happy about that. You know what I mean? I'm... I'm I've played them for so long, I know what I can do and what I can't do. And what I can't do is very, very small amount of stuff, because I've just learned everything on a Strat, uh, this one in particular. And, um, and but I don't get that with a guitar. So like with, with Les Pauls, I'm like, right, well, I can't do that, and I can't do that. That's some, some things, it, and, and it's not because of the sound of the guitar, it's because I technically i'm not able to play that guitar as well and the same thing goes with my my telecaster or, or my 335 uh heartwood um or uh or, or any of those guitars i those kind of other guitars that i've got I, I i can't play them as well you know what i mean i'm not as I'm, I'm not as confident on them guitars as i am the stratocaster and so the next one down from a strat is the jag and it's funny because when i go from a strat to the jag the same confidence that lives in these this style of guitar is in this style of guitar. I know what these things can do, and I know what I can do with them, and I, I I'm always happy with it. You know, there's no compromise. I don't have to compromise because it's not. It's like I've switched to another Stratocaster, just with a slightly bigger body and one less pickup and a bit of a different switching arrangement. You know what I mean? And a squat and a small neck. But um, but yeah, so. And I always feel you've got to be super confident in your instrument, in your guitar. You know, you've got to know what it does. You've got to be comfortable with it. So it is a part of you. It's not a separate entity to you. It is you. You know what I mean? That's why I don't name my guitars. But that, that's no, that's not relevant. Um, but yeah, the guitar has to be you. And sometimes when I pick up a Telecaster or, or, or a Les Paul or a 335 or, or whatever, an SG, they feel... There's there's a little bit of an adjustment. I don't want to call it adjustment, but it is like an adjustment period where you have to kind of switch your body to incorporate it. Sorry, that's my phone. It's very weird. I don't even know where it is. Oh, it's up there. I can't find it. Anyway, sorry. We'll have to do all the beeping for a sec. But you've got there is a slight for me anyway. There's that slight kind of like I've got to adjust me to it, and then we can become one if that makes any sense. Whereas I don't get what with a Stratocaster and a Jaguar. So uh, if you've never tried a Jag, I really, really recommend it. I really recommend it. Don't be scared and put off by the switching, which I'm going to get to in a minute. Yes, it's ergonomically bizarre, but when you get used to it, it's it's easy. It's as easy as this. You know, it's as easy as a Stratocaster. Um, and don't be put off by kind of issues like the bridge. There's, you know, you can fix them. Uh, stuff like that. So uh, another thing I'd rec uh, I would mention is like if somebody came to me as a beginner guitarist and asked what guitar would I recommend them, a uh, Strat or a Jag, I would recommend the Jag over the Strat for a beginner, uh, just because of a shorter scale uh, and they're easier to play than a Stratocaster. You know what I mean? They just they just are because of a shorter scale. They feel smaller uh, and they just feel more. You know. If you're a beginner, that's that's a good thing. You know, you, you don't as a beginner, you don't want like you know uh, anything too kind of like obnoxious. So say so you want something that's really easy and comfortable to play, and the Jaguar really does that nicely. So a Jag is a really good beginner's guitar as well. If you're learning out, uh, it's just an all it's just a great all around guitar like the Stratocaster is. But if you're a beginner, I would really recommend a Jag or a Jazz uh, or, or a Mustang. Sorry, not a Jazzmaster. Don't. I don't like I don't like jazz masters. I I'm a bit of a I don't have a bee in my bonnet about jazz masters. I just don't like them. They just I, I've tried so many jazz masters, and every time I've picked one up, I'm like no. And it's you know I, I just know instinctively what I, what I'm after, and the jazz master just doesn't have it. It's too. I just don't like the way they feel, and I I really don't like the way they sound. There's just something in the sound I really don't like, but not with the jag anyway. So, so yeah, I mean I think. Yeah, and, and, and that's the thing, is like the Jags are very comfortable to play because of a short scale, it's like a Mustang. And you know, the strats are obviously the longer scale, bridge to nut and stuff like that. So uh so yeah, so so there is that as well to consider. Um 
And like I said, I mean, if, if somebody came along, and I've, I've said this before in videos, like, you know, if somebody came along and said, oh, you're not allowed to play strats ever again, I'm taking all your Stratocasters away, and you're only allowed one other guitar to play, and it can't be a strat, what would you play? It'd be Jaguars. They are, they are, they are literally, like, I, I don't know if I've already said this or not, but I'm, I'm saying it again if I haven't. But yeah, because the Jag, it does, it does, it feels like home to me. Like, uh, just doing the comparison just then, going from the Jag to the Strat, and then back and forth and back and forth, it doesn't feel any different. It's bizarre. I just don't feel like I'm changing. Like obviously, I'm aware I'm changing guitar, but it doesn't feel any different. Obviously, I feel different in the necks and the bodies and the weight, but that's all very tiny things when it comes down to that confidence you feel when you pick up an instrument and you know what it can do and you know what you can do with it. And it just works with you, you know what I mean? Uh, and becomes you, you know, becomes part of you, which is key to any instrument you own. It really wants to be a part of you. It doesn't want to be a separate entity. Uh, you know, it really has to be you. Uh, it really does. So, um, so yeah, so so sound-wise, they're not a million miles off. If you're a Strat fanatic, I think if you've never tried a Jag, you would love the Jaguar as well. I could be wrong, uh, but for me, from what I've found and what I feel, being a Strat nut, the Jaguar is the closest guitar to a Stratocaster. And, um, you know, it, it does feel that kind of way to me. And it, it just feels ridiculous. I just love it. Sorry, everyone. I can't, I can't find my phone. I don't know. It's somewhere over there, but I don't know where. Anyway, but so quickly, let's talk about the ergonomics of it. Okay, so the Strat is easier to get the hang of. You know, the Strat is just simpler in every way, shape and form. You know, your selector switch is right where your strumming pattern is, so you can get to the select switch. The volume control is right where it needs to be. The tones are, you know, the tremolo arm is, is nice and small and you can really get in there. Everything on the Stratocaster is perfect. There's nothing ever in the way. You know what I mean? Every, it's just, it's so well laid out. Everything's kind of like this kind of swoop. You know, in the, in the way you would strum. So as you're coming up, you can you can just get to things really easily. So a Strat, ergonomically, beats the Jaguar. It just does. Everything's in the every, everything on a Strat is just easier to get at than a Jag. So when you go to a Jag, uh, I sound like Jeremy Clarkson. When you go to a Jag, the best guitar in the world. So um, when you go to a Jag, it's a lot more kind of like, huh? Eh? Because you've got the switches down here for your pickup selector with your high pass filter. You've got the volume kind of a bit, you know, technically if it was a strat, it'd be there. So it's a bit further down. You can still do volume swells and get to it really easy and the tone control really easy. Uh, but then you've got this switch up here on the jazz circuit. And then you've got this massive tremolo arm with the constant wibble. You know, a, a, a Jaguar trem is always set to float. Um, it always does the kind of the shimmer. Um... So ergonomically, the Stratocaster is better set up. And how many times this happens when you're playing a Jaguar is a bit silly. If you're playing on the bridge pickup or the net pickup, either way, you can be strumming away and in the heat of a moment, you can hit those switches down. And then all of a sudden, your guitar's turned off. And you're like, what the hell? A good example of this is the Red Hot Chili Peppers at uh, Woodstock in 1999. Uh, they come out and they do uh, Around the World. And John's using his Jaguar, and he's strumming and strumming away, and he hits the guitar, uh, he hits the slick switch off on his red Jag, and all of a sudden his guitar's off. You know, and Dave Lee comes running out, and they're like, oh my god, what's going on? And then John realises, he goes, oh, and then starts the song. <laughs> so, <laughs> you wouldn't get that with a Stratocaster, because you can't turn the Stratocaster off. And I get why you turn the pickup off, but I don't... This this is a bit of an issue. And if you look at like the Johnny Marr signature Jaguar, that's been rectified now. It's got a blade selector. You know what I mean? So you don't have to worry about turning the guitar off. You can't do it. So ergonomically as well, this is a lot fiddlier than that. It just is. The Jag is fiddlier. It's a more finicky guitar. Like I say, you can turn the thing off if, you, if, you, if you're not careful, which is really cool if you want to do kind of toggle switching stuff. But you can do it by accident. I've done it before in the heat of a moment where you just kind of like hit the guitar and you're like... And the funny thing is, is your immediate reaction is, oh, my amp's dead or my pedals are dead. You don't go, oh, I'll just hit the switch. So it's um it's a panic-inducing switch, that is, a bit on the jag. So, you know, you've got to bear that in mind when you play these things. And you've kind of got to strum here. You've got to change your playing angle. I mean, 
I do that anyway because that's just the way I play. But I think that's why Jag works for me really well is because I always strum between the two. But I have hit it. I have turned it off mid-gig and mid-song. Um, so, yeah, ergonomically, this isn't as well laid out, I don't think. It, yeah, you know, with the, and, and also the switch up here for the for the, uh, the, for the jazz kind of t tone rolled off uh, circuit is, is a bit different. And the roller pots up here can be a bit fiddly if you want to use this. It's like, oh, I just want to roll the volume down a bit. They're not as easy as that, you know what I mean? So, and... You know, everything's just in a weird place. And plus, you've got so many controls on a Jag. So you've got, you got a volume, you've got a tone, uh, master volume, master tone for the bottom circuit. Uh, and then you've got a slighter switch for your bridge pickup, a slighter switch for your neck pickup to turn it off and on. Then you've got your high-pass filter, which cuts the bass. So when this, bu when this button's down, there's more bass in the guitar. When you, when you put it up, it cuts, that, it cuts the low end, basically. So it's, it's a high-pass. And uh, it's really, really cool. And it works really, really well. Uh, and then when you go to the jazz circuit on the top, you've just got the neck pickup on its own with its independent volume and tone. And again, you can use that as a toggle switch if you need to turn it off, you know, do those Tom Morelli stuttery things. Um, but ergonomically, the Strat has to wins. You know, it really does. Uh, the Strat is just better laid out. That's the strength of the Strat over the Jag. Because so far at this point in time, I feel they're on par. And I feel this is really the um, this is really the deciding factors in the strengths between the Jag and the Stratocaster is the ergonomical ability to get to things quickly. Stratocasters, you can get to that slighter switch and move it about as quick as you want. I mean, you just watch Steve Ray Vaughan doing it, or people like Phil Sace. They just mastered that. And, uh, you know, volume controls and tone controls, you can just get to everything so easy. And that's all there is. You know what I mean? You've got, you know, you've got a volume, two tones, and, and a selector switch. That's all you've got. You know, you've actually got four elements there, and that's all you've got. Whereas on a Jag, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight elements, which definitely gives you more tonal variety, but there's a lot more to go wrong. The Stratocaster and the Telecaster are perfect simplicity. The Jag Jaguar is a little bit more fiddly and kind of panic inducing trouser filling panic when you get on stage and you turn the thing off <laughs> you know what i mean so technically the strap wins with ergonomics uh, of controls ergonomics of how the guitar sits they're both on par i really do feel they're both on par they both are perfect and they've both got the same kind of things in the fact they've got the arm chamfer there and they've got the belly cut so they both sit on you, you know, they, they just become you, you know, they, they don't sit off you like a Les Paul or a Telecaster would, you know, they sit into you, which I always feel helps me connect with the guitar, if a guitar's got like a belly cut, I always feel that like I'm more connected with it than I am if it doesn't have that, you know, like a Les Paul never has a belly cut, and I always feel, I always feel connected to it, but not as connected as I do with this style, you know what I mean, with, with the belly cut, um, so yeah, so comfort-wise, I think they're 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 just they're both perfect. You know what I mean? They really are both perfect. The Jag is heavier, but not by a great deal. Excuse me. But like I say, the, the, but that's the thing. The Jag is easier to play than the Strat, but the Strat is easier to navigate than the Jag. But they both sound kind of similar, but they both feel different. But then you have a major issue with the Jag. And that's, the Strat has an amazing tremolo system that always works and it's perfect. The Jag has this. Now this was a very, I don't know what was going through uh, Fender's mind and Leo Fender's mind when they thought, oh, what we'll do, we'll, we'll put a bridge with million grooves in it. You know, what, what they were thinking of, like, you know, when they thought, we'll put a bridge on there, but we won't have one groove, we'll have loads. Uh, I don't really know why they did that, because obviously with the Mustang bridge, it didn't have that, but the Jazzmaster and the Jaguar did. So the problem is, like I say, you get this all day. If you don't, if you hit a, hit a Jaguar too hard, you get this noise of the string moving around in the saddle, because it, it, never, it never sits in the groove. So, because there's too many of them. 
that can be easily fixed these days. You've got mastery bridges, you've got the, the Mustang bridge, you know, they just drop in and you're good to go. But you can make them work, but that is a big problem. The Stratocaster does not have that problem. A Telecaster doesn't have that problem. Mustang doesn't have that problem. The Jag and the Jazzmaster have that issue. That is a bit of a, a design flaw. So this bridge is dodgy. The Stratocaster bridge wins on that one. You know what I mean? You have to do work to the original Jag bridge if you want it to work. You don't have to do it with a Stratocaster. A Stratocaster just works. So, um, and then moving on to the tremolo units, I personally think they're both on par again, uh, in my opinion. The Jag tremolo system is just absolutely stunning. You can do dive bombs and stuff with it if you want. I have done, and I, I do do, and I do do, do 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 and it's just really good fun to kind of like really, wait, dive bomb with a Jag, because the, the, the arm is so big and the action is so nice on a, on a Jaguar, it's really bouncy. It is like you're on a, it's like you're on a bounty castle with a Jaguar tremolo arm. Uh, and the same with Strat, you can just die bomb those things and, and you know, they're just, they're just good fun. So, so tremolo-wise, I think they're on par. So, just to sum up, uh, I hope there's been something in this. I've got a horrible feeling this video is totally terrible. So, I do, if this video is totally terrible, I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get my my brain to, uh, my, well, I'm trying to get my, my what I feel the, 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 the points across. Um, but, so to sum up though, like, feel-wise, I reckon if you like Strats, you'll like Jaguars, because I feel they feel very similar, you know what I mean, to the point where, I would say the Jaguar is the closest to a Stratocaster than any other guitar, uh, in my opinion, you know what I mean, the, 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 the Strat style guitar, I reckon the Jag is the next kind of logical progression, if that makes any sense whatsoever, um, but ergonomically, the Strat is better with its controls. It's simpler, less can go wrong. You can't turn the Strat off. You know what I mean? It's just, it's all there and it's to hand. The Jaguar is a lot fiddlier. You know what I mean? Uh, the, the volume and the tone are to hand, but you've got to get like a technique where you, you know, you have to use these two fingers to switch between the pickups. And if you're not careful, you can turn the guitar off. And if you want the high pass filter in, do that and then switch this up here. And if that volume's turned down, you, got a dead guitar and so ergonomically the strap wins on that it's just easier to navigate it's simpler less can go wrong and it's just easier to get around feel wise they feel the same tremolo wise they feel the same the bridge is not that great on a jaguar compared to the stratocaster bridge but but still you know these they're, they're the pros and cons i, I, I mean that's as, as far as i'd go with it really i don't think there's really anything else to say because Oh, and that's another thing. Like I said, said earlier on, the, the Jaguar is easier to play than a, than a Stratocaster. It just is uh, to do with a short scale. It just feels easier to navigate the fretboard. It's so, it's so, it it just it just works. You know, and that's why I'd always recommend a Jag to if or a Mustang. If somebody was beginning to play guitar and they said, "Oh, you know, what should I get, a Jaguar or, or, a, or a Strat uh, or a Mustang?" It'd probably you know be a Mustang or, or a Jag because of a short scale. And I think when you're a beginner. Short scale is key, you know. I really do feel that, and that's 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 the way I went when I was when I was a beginner. I I play my little Washburn short scale, and it, I reckon that's the reason I was able to progress quite fast is because I had a short scale guitar that was easier to play with low action light strings, and it just it just lended itself to learning so well. And I the Jaguar does that, you know. What I mean, the Jaguar is an easy easier guitar to play than the Stratocaster is. Uh, just because of the scale length and the, the way of the tension on the guitar, it, it feels slinkier and easier and the more laid back, whereas the Strat feels a little bit more uptight, but not too much, if that makes any sense. So, um, so yeah, so the things to be aware of with a Jaguar over a Stratocaster are the bridge, the switching. Don't be ever be scared. Don't ever be scared of a switching on a Jag, though, because I, I know a lot of people are kind of like, it's got too much on it. I don't want to know. Uh, it's very simple, really. It, what, when you get used to it, it's very simple. And the, the way I look at it is just simply, you know, if that's up, you've got a bridge. If that's up, you've got both. And if that one's up, you've got the neck. And that's all I use. And I just flip-flop between the two. Um, same with a Stratocaster. So don't be put off by that. I would always recommend people try and Jaguars out because they really are special guitars. They really are fantastic. And they just feel so nice to play they really do i mean they're, they're so comfy they really are and um 
So yeah, I mean, um, for, for, for what this video is worth, I kind of, I just want to expand, I just wanted to expand a little bit more on that, that question for Q&A Wednesday and just try and kind of get a little comp sound comparison in there and, and just like a little bit of kind of my experiences between the two guitars. Like, like I say, I reckon the, the Jag is ergonomically and, you know, can be a nightmare. You, when you get used to it, it's easy, you know, it's easy, it's as easy as the Strat to navigate. But it takes a bit of getting used to, whereas a Stratocaster takes no time to get used to. It's so simple, it's so straightforward, and it's just simplicity at, at, at some of its best. Whereas the Jag is a little bit, a little bit overcomplicated. You know, what I mean, it, it can get a bit silly. But the Jag plays better than a Strat. It's comf it's more easy to play than a Stratocaster, and um, you know. But then the Jag's heavier than the Strat, but they're both really comfortable. So you, you see what I mean? There, there's so many pros and cons. It's really hard to basically what you've got to do is you've just got to kind of like narrow it down to what you feel when you pick up an instrument. To me, there's no adjustment anymore between a Strat and a Jag. When I go from one to the other, I don't feel any different. I could flip flop between the two all day, and I'd be very comfortable d doing no matter what I needed to do on it. Whereas if I flip flop between like a Strat and a Telecaster or a Strat and 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 a, and a Les Paul or an SG or whatever. There is a mini, mini adjustment period where I've got to kind of like alter myself to fit into the guitar. Um, whereas I don't get that with the Jag and the Strat. So, so yeah, just, just kind of like, you know, a little, little something else there. But, um, but yeah, uh, but another thing to mention as well is that uh, this is my best recording guitar. For some reason, the Jag, whenever I record the Jaguar, I, have, I don't have to do anything to the, the, the guitar. Um, the Duke's Deluder album I released recently on the on 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 the channel the the, the Midnight of a Lonestone L Lodestone the full album um, that entire out al that entire album apart from two songs or one song I forget uh, one or two songs it was all done on a Jaguar it was all done on this guitar uh, through the CL120 and my pedal board and I did the entire album on this guitar because it just worked so well. For that. And I was just so, and in all fairness, this became my main guitar for about two years um, over the Stratocaster. I just switched, and I, every time I go back to it, I'm just so happy with it. And I always was, and I love it so much. But this is my best recording guitar. Where every every time I record this guitar, it sounds incredible. Every time, and it's just one of those things. That I don't know why it sounds so good when I record it, but it, out of all the guitars I own. This guitar sounds the best when I record, and I don't know why it just does. It, every time, it never it never fails to sound good. Uh, oh, the other album I did recently as well, the little um, weird numbered one, the, the kind of John Fashanti Neandra style tape recorder one I did. That was all this guitar as well. It was all on the Jaguar. Cause nothing. This Jag's got four of music. It's like that guitar, Mr. White. There, there's four of music. Anyway. So yeah, just to, just to elaborate a bit more on that A and Q question of like you know pros and cons of a Jag and the Jet and the, and the Stratocaster, hopefully that kind of give you you know a bit more of an insight hopefully uh, on on the differences between the two and hopefully with the comparison you can kind of hear the difference because I don't feel they're too far away from each other, you know what I mean they're not worlds apart you know what I mean I mean most most Fender guitars aren't worlds apart you know what I mean Jaguars Jazzmasters Telecasters Stratocasters Mustangs you know Duo Sonics. There's never a great deal in them tonally, you know what I mean? But obviously, you can tell a Stratocaster to a Telecaster and a Jag to a Telecaster and all that kind of thing. But there is but there is definitely a similarity between a Jaguar and a Stratocaster, more so than any other guitar, if that makes any sense. I hope that made sense. The fear is here, everybody. The fear. Okay, and I'm not talking about the uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 character. Um, anyway. Yeah, so... Can you believe that? I'll be back. Crikey. I'll never learn, will I? I will never learn to put my phone on silent. I'm a total idiot. Anyway, you're an idiot, Dave. So, uh, hi, everybody. I'm an idiot. Uh, you're an idiot. Um, okay, so, um, where was I? So, yeah. So, hopefully this has kind of elaborated a bit more on it. I don't know. If, I hope it has. I'm, I'm a bit freaking out, to be honest with you. I'm, uh, hopefully there's something in this vid anyway that you, you can kind of take away. If you were considering Jag or Strat or curious about the kind of a difference between. Uh, these are my things. There's not a great deal in them, to be honest with you. I really don't feel there's a great deal in them. It comes down to what you're comfortable with at the end of the day. And I really do strongly feel that if you love Stratocasters, you will love Jaguars. 
There's just something very, very similar between them. There really is. Um, you know, I mean, I don't know if, you know, if it is to do with the ergonomics of a Jag and a Strat. I'm not talking about control ergonomics, just, just the way, the overall feel of the instrument. I don't know if it's to do with that or what it is, but I do feel they're very, very, very close. You know, they, they really do walk hand in hand, these guitars. They really do. Um, you know, there's not a great deal of difference tonally to them either. And look at that, it nearly fits perfectly in the contours of the Stratocaster. <laughs> anyway, I've lost my mind, everybody. Weird laugh, then. Did you hear that weird laugh? It was like a cackle. Anyway, um, so yeah, anyway, uh, I hope there's been something in this video, anyway, uh, this video anyway, so I hope there's something informative in it. Um, like I say, I, I really do recommend Jaguars. I really do. I mean, if you've got Stratocasters and Les Pauls, I, 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 I'm just going to say it. I feel the Jaguar is a must-own for any guitarist. I really do feel every guitarist needs a Jaguar. Um, you know, unless obviously, like, you know, it just literally doesn't work. But I do feel that every work guitar should at least try one. Should I say that? Uh, probably better. Because they just really are. There's, there's something in them, you know, that's very, very, um, very special. They're, they're just different. You know what I mean? They really are different. And, you know, this, this one is, you know, this one, this one is mine. And, and I'm so, I love it so much. It really is. And, it, and again, they're always so inspiring to me, Jaguars. They look cool. Jaguars just look cool. There's so much. I mean, do they look cooler than a Strat? What do you think, people of the tube? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Jaguars cooler than a Strat? I don't know about that one. But, um... Just because I'm a Strat, though. <laughs> but, um... But, yeah. So, I hope there's something in this vid, everybody. I hope, you know, I hope there's some kind of clearing up of certain things. And just elaborate a bit more on kind of what I kind of spoke about a bit more on, on, on Wednesday. And hopefully, in the comparison, you can, you can kind of hear the difference between the two. Um, anything else to say? There isn't really, no. Uh, like I say, there's so many features on these guitars where I feel they're on par. Like, the Jag's on par with the Strat, and the Strat's on par with the Jag. But then there are differences. Um... I still personally prefer the Strat. You know, the Strat is my home. You know, that is that is my guitar. You know what I mean? The Strat is my guitar, and I don't know if it'll never not be. You know what I mean? I highly doubt it'll never not be. I'm just so... I'm so at home, and I'm so comfortable, and I'm just so happy with, with a Stratocaster. You know, um, to to quote Mike McCready, Mike McCready, when he, when he started playing Strat, he said it was like they were made for me, and I feel exactly the same way. As soon as I pick up a Strat, it feels like, you know, this is perfect. Absolutely perfect. No ifs, no buts. They always feel perfect. Um, they all sound differently and they all play differently, but they all feel the sh the body shape with the body contours. They always feel perfect. No ifs, no buts. And I get that with the Jag as well. Um, but yeah, anyway, I don't know, people with you. Um, hopefully there's something in this video. I do apologise if it's not. I'm not I'm, I don't mean to try... I'm not trying to waste anybody's time. I hope there's something in this video that can, you know, make some kind of sense. I'm, I'm sorry if not, but I hope there's something in this. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again on Wednesday, everybody, uh, for A and Q. Um, there's something else I need to say. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, have a great morning, afternoon, good evening, and um, goodbye now. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> I'm terrified. This video has been terrible.